Hi, my name is Saurabh Pant and I hope you are very safe at your home and healthy as well. So I'm continuing with my Rank Booster series. So I have a question for you and obviously the answer would be yes for it. Have you played that game when you were kids that uh, blocks game you used to call it block game where the blocks are assembled together to form new new shapes. Sometimes you can make the house, sometimes you can make a ship and then you can disassemble the blocks. Some bigger blocks uh, were there when you were kids in class, maybe pre-nurseries. When you came to nursery LKG, small small blocks used to come. And then you used to assemble them to make new shape, then disassemble them and then assemble again to make another new shape. So here that same game in today's lecture I am going to use for the question of thermochemistry using bond enthalpy. People have a lot of doubt. Ki, sir, uh, when do we do reactant minus product? When do we do product minus reactant? So understand here enthalpy of a reaction two types of questions can come for the enthalpy of reaction. First type of question is when the enthalpy of reaction is given or asked along with the enthalpy of formations of reactant and product is given or asked. So let's say the enthalpy of formations of the reactant and product is given and enthalpy of the reaction is asked. So simply our enthalpy of the reaction is enthalpy of formation of the product multiplied by stoichiometry minus enthalpy of formation of the reactant multiplied by stoichiometry. So enthalpy of formation of product minus reactant is the enthalpy of reaction that is a simple question. For bond enthalpy many teachers directly teach that bond enthalpy of reactant minus product you can do and because people are not able to understand this they are not able to recall this for longer period of time. In fact unluckily some of you might not be even knowing that sometimes we have to do reactant minus product also here. But anyway this video is extremely helpful for you for such kind of problems. To understand, today we are going to use the block game of class nursery. That means after this, any student of any student of class second, third, fourth can also do the thermochemistry problem. All he should know is addition and subtraction, khatam, multiplication also, and division also, obviously. If that much you can do, you'll be able to do this thermochemistry problem easily. Very important for neat exam, very, very important. At least four times in the last 10 years, you might see this problem coming. Anyway. So block game with the bond enthalpy how to play for that firstly the tips for playing the game because bond breaking energy required. What does it mean if there is a bond AB to break him to form A plus B energy will be required. So for example it is a bond to break him I have to give energy very obvious and here in thermodynamics when the system in chemistry when the system gets energy we say energy required positive. So basically when the energy is required for breaking the bond that means I will say positive energy changes there energy has to be given means positive. Whereas when the two atoms will come together to form product think about it when the bond breaks to form atom energy required for forming the bond energy will be released. Na, yaar. So for example these two are coming back to form a bond. So this sound release, this energy released. So bhaiya, understand when the bond breaks, energy required. When the bond is formed again, energy released. So bond formation, energy released. Released means negative sign. Released. I lost energy. System lost the energy. So bhaiya, in the bond formation, energy lost. So bhaiya, negative sign. For the bond breaking, you have to give energy. So system gets the energy, so a positive sign will come. So this is the main important tip. Nothing else you have to mug up. But yes, definitions have very important role in the thermochemistry. So yeah, let's see the definition of bond enthalpy. What is bond enthalpy? Bond enthalpy, we also call it bond dissociation enthalpy. They both are same. So yeah, bond enthalpy or bond dissociation enthalpy is the average energy required. This word average is very important. I will explain here. The average energy required for homoleptic fission. What is homoleptic fission? So, bhaiya, dekho yaar, AB breaks to form A plus B neutral. This is homoleptic. Equal equal partition happened. When it forms A plus B minus, this is heteroleptic. So, I am talking about the homoleptic fission. So, whenever the average energy required to break a given bond, how much of the given bond? One mole of the given bond. All the enthalpies are calculated in general per mole. So the average energy required for homoleptic fission of a given bond, one mole of a given bond in gaseous molecule to generate gaseous atom in ground state. So when the molecule become atom or we can also call it species, 
sometimes species are also formed which are not atom actually but they are some intermediate species so average energy required for homoleptic fission of a given bond in a gaseous molecule to generate gaseous atom or species in the ground state is the bond enthalpy sorry definition is very big what to do kuch nahi focus here dekho methane has four bonds with hydrogen hai na ch4 c has four bonds with hydrogen something like this is there to bhaiya when the first bond broke let's say ch4 became ch3 dot h dot this dot means the electron obviously these two were made these two made a bond by sharing one one electron each on breaking away this h got his electron back c got his electron back so you got ch3 which is radical plus h radical and we got the energy we required the energy to break this bond energy required was even similarly the ch3 ch3 dot broke again another h got broken and the energy required was e2 then another h got broken the energy required was e3 finally the fourth h also got broken down energy required was e4 that means let's say this required even energy this required e2 this required e3 this required e4 sir will this even e2 e3 e4 will be different 100% will be different yaar why think about it if you are breaking the bond from neutral at neutral molecule methane getting a radical breaking the bond from this radical which is comparatively unstable and getting a carbene so obviously our energies are changing energies are changing so when you break a bond from methane it's going to be tough because he's a new he's a neutral stable molecule so understand even e2 e3 e4 are going to be different that's for sure but then here comes the important word that is the average so whenever we give you the bond enthalpy of ch we always ask you the bond enthalpy of ch in methane then always it is the average bond enthalpy average means everyone knows how to find average so e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus e4 by 4 is the bond enthalpy of ch one more such question they can ask you for example water is there hai na let's say they give you that for this the enthalpy required is e1 to break this oh bond to break this oh bond e2 energy required so can you find the average bond enthalpy of oh very simple sir e1 plus e2 by 2 so bhaiya bond enthalpy whenever it is given it is always the average because individual bond enthalpies can be different for methane ch ch bond can be different for oh oh here to bhaiya this is the basic idea definition based idea now one more thing is there bond formation enthalpy i think that's obvious if bond dissociation enthalpy is positive then bond formation enthalpy is negative so bond formation enthalpy means minus times of bond enthalpy or minus times of bond dissociation enthalpy so whenever any question gives you ki bond formation enthalpy is this much to clearly you can say that means <clears throat> for example i say bond formation delta h or we can say bond enthalpy of formation bond formation enthalpy is minus 10 joule per mole for example which is a very small value but let's say is minus 10 joule per mole or minus 10 kilo joule per mole then the bond enthalpy will be plus 10 kilo joule per mole so immediately you can convert the formation bond enthalpy into dissociation bond enthalpy or simply bond enthalpy by multiplying with the negative sign or simply by changing the sign chaliye bhaiya नेक्स्ट वर्ड लेट्स डू वन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन तो भैया देखो फोर हाइड्रोजन गिविंग यू टू एच टू एंथेल्पी ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज गिवन सो इट इज फॉर्मेशन एंथेल्पी डिसोसिएशन एंथेल्पी नथिंग इट इज नथिंग इट इज द एंथेल्पी ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन सो डेल्टा एच इज माइनस एट सेवेंटी किलो जूल पर मोल दे आर आस्किंग द बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी ऑफ एच टू सो अंडरस्टैंड फॉर बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी ऑफ एच टू दैट मीन्स एच टू विल ब्रेक इन टू टू हाइड्रोजन एटम्स एच टू विल ब्रेक इन टू एच प्लस एच for this they are asking the enthalpy very simple here no formula to be used what to do kuch nahi they are asking h2 giving you hydrogen plus hydrogen that means bond enthalpy of h2 they are asking h2 has to break to form h and h that's what they are asking sir 1h2 or 2h2 beta 1h2 sir why 1h2 because one mole of the bond bond enthalpy is calculated for one mole of the bond and one mole h2 will contain one mole of this bond that's why one h2 is taken to so brilliant yaar question solved easily why simple hai yaar if 4h gives you 2h2 enthalpy is given minus 870 then bhaiya 2h2 giving you 4h reverse the reaction as i reverse the reaction 
the delta h will become plus 870 so what is this very simple here if forward reaction is exo backward is endo if forward is endo backward is exo very simple bhaiya so here when 4h gives you 2h2 is minus 870 so 2h2 give you 4h is plus 870 now, bhaiya, they are asking H2 giving you 2H, so divide with 2. So, what do we get? Sir, H2 gives you 2H. So, delta H is coming uh, 870 by 2. Very good. And that is your answer. Okay, bhaiya. Four marks insurance in the NEET exam done, bhaiya. Previous year question, this is. If you, seem, if you feel it is easy, it is easy. It's a very simple question. So, let's enter into good, good questions now. बहुत बढ़िया यार लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन नाउ सो बॉन्ड एंथैल्पी ऑफ एच एच सी डबल बॉन्ड सी सी सिंगल बॉन्ड सी सी एच इज गिवन टू यू दे आर आस्किंग यू टू कैलकुलेट द एंथैल्पी ऑफ हाइड्रोजीनेशन ऑफ इथीन बहुत बढ़िया बात है यार नाउ दिस इज द रिएक्शन फॉर द एंथैल्पी ऑफ हाइड्रोजीनेशन ऑफ इथीन दिस मे और मे नॉट बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो यू शुड बी नोइंग लिटिल बिट ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री आल्सो कि दिस इज इथीन विद हाइड्रोजन फॉर्म्स इथीन एंड दिस द रिएक्शन so, as I promised, I will not be using any equation reactant minus product or product minus reactant. I will use something that you know. And that is a block game. So, write the expanded formula. Let us see. So, you get C, H, H, double bond C, H, H plus, H, H, H2 gives you C, H, 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 single bond C, H, H, H. Badiya ho baat. So, bhaiya, ethene plus hydrogen gives you ethane very brilliantly. We have written in the expanded form. Ab dekho bhaiya, what the game we have to play? The game is very simple. Kya hai game bhaiya? I will break this, I will break this, I will break this, I will break this, I will break this. I will get two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. Then I will break this also. I will get two more hydrogen atoms. Matlab, sir, what does it mean? Nothing. I will break this. Two, three, four. That means, that means, I will break four CH bond. Sir, bond breaking. Plus or minus? Sir, plus. <coughs> so, plus. Plus what? Plus the bond enthalpy of CH. Sir, how many times? I have to break four bonds. So, I require. Dekho, what we have to do? It's a simple concept here. Kya? Profit loss. But profit loss, dekho yaar, some energy will be required, some energy will be released. Required plus sign, released minus sign. And you will get the answer easily. So, to break one CH bond, to break one mole of CH bond, 420 energy required. I have to break four of them. That means four moles I have to break here. So, four times of this energy required. Again, I will break this bond also. Q. C double bond C also I will break. Sir, how many bond you have to break C double bond C? But yeah, I have to break only one bond. So breaking the bond means again energy required. So plus sign will come. Again energy required. How many bond break broken? One C double bond C broken. How much energy required? Sir, 600 kilojoule required. So bhot badiya bhaiya. So one C double bond C broken. So I can multiply this by one if you feel happy by seeing one here. Achha. Then what? Then, sir, very well we know now, we understood that bhaiya, H, H will also break. Because that's how the block game is. To make a new block game, to make, to make a new structure, I have to break the previous blocks completely into the most simplified atoms. So, bhaiya, what I take? I will require some energy. Achha. Require means plus. To break H, H bond, bahut badiya. how much energy required? Achha. 430 rupees required. Lo, bhaiya. I required the amount to break the HH bond. How many HH bond broken? Sir, one bond broken. So, dekho, I, bro I broke CH, 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 four bonds. So, multiply with four. I broke C double bond C. So, I multiplied with one because one bond broken. I broke HH bond. So, that much included multiplied by one. So, bahut badiya, broken means required energy and required means positive sign. Bahut badiya baat ho yaar. Carrying on. Now, I have to form so firstly, let us take one carbon, let us take another carbon, form a bond, Bahut badiya. So when I take one carbon, I take another carbon, form a bond, energy will be released. Released means 
नेगेटिव साइन तो भैया नेगेटिव केम हेयर सी सी तो इकड़ा इकड़ा सी सिंगल बॉन्ड सी तो वट वी गेट वी गेट बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी ऑफ सी सी विद अ नेगेटिव साइन सर वाई नेगेटिव साइन बिकॉज बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन एनर्जी रिलीज्ड हेयर एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड हेयर एनर्जी रिलीज्ड देन वट देन आई विल टेक आई गॉट वन सी सी अप टू हेयर आई गॉट Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogen. You can check one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hydrogen atoms I have. I will connect them. So one here, two here, three here, four here, five here, six here. So that means I will connect six atoms of hydrogen with carbon. How much energy? So sir, the bond enthalpy of CH six. But released or gained, sir, bond is getting formed. the carbon is going to make a bond form a bond with hydrogen and sir you said bond formation means energy released so sir a negative sign will come badhiya digest to a bhai then what then nothing put the value get the answer game over lovely question lovely answer awesome students understood everything to so, bhaiya enthalpy of the reaction will be 4 into CH bond that is 420 plus C double bond C 600 plus H single bond H 430 बहुत बढ़िया हो गया minus C single bond C that is 330 one bond formed CH bond six formed तो so minus six into uh, CH bond is 420 again and solving this you will get the enthalpy of the reaction so as I said I did not apply anything. So if some people will see, they will see that sir, it is the same, sir. You are doing the enthalpy, bond enthalpy of the reactant minus product. Ha! Huh, I did reactant minus product, but I did not make you mug up that. I just told you what you already know. For breaking the bond, energy required. For forming the bond, energy released. So I broke all the bonds here. Tuck, 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 tuck. Energy given, given, given. So plus, 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 plus. Now is the time to harness the energy from there. And to harness the energy, I got one C. I got one C. I connected it. Energy released. Bond enthalpy of C C. I got C. I got H connected. 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 Six times connected. So six times of bond enthalpy of CH released. And this is how you can solve the question for the NEET examination on this format. Many many questions. As I said, four questions in the last ten years you will see are H2 plus Cl2 gives you HCl. H2 plus Br2 gives you HBr. The same question you will see there as well. Very very important set of questions these are. But now. i am entering into the part which requires toppers thinking so digest this digest this part take 2 3 second take a deep breath enjoy that one concept is over and possibly this concept will come directly in the neat exam also and now i will enter into something which require a little bit more carefulness while solving the question So, boy, in this question, the bond enthalpy of H H is given, O double bond O given, O H given, some extra information enthalpy of vaporization fusion given for water. Now, they are asking H two plus half O two gives you water. The enthalpy of reaction you have to find at twenty five degrees Celsius. बहुत बढ़िया क्वेश्चन यार. Let's carry on. So, देखो यार. In this question, in this question, firstly I will write H single bond H. I will write O double bond O, but I have to write half of it. Half. Not complete half because half is given in the stoichiometry. And then I have to write O H H. So lone pair, lone pair does not matter here. We all just worry about is the we worry about just the bond and nothing else. Now, one thing, tell me. One thing, tell me. To break this bond, है ना? We have to firstly break all the bonds. So, चलो फटाफट cut 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 cut. So this cut. So I can say that plus bond enthalpy of H H I have done. Plus bond enthalpy of H H I can do Y plus sir, sir because energy required to break the bond. Energy required to break O bond, so plus bond enthalpy of O double bond O but divided by two. Why, sir? Only half the bond has to be broken down. Half the bond means not half the bond. Half mole of the bond have to be broken down. That means three point zero one one ten to the power twenty three bonds have to break down. That's why the half energy because half is the stoichiometry. So this is the plus plus sign, sir. Why plus? Because energy required to break the bond, and to form the bond here, what we will do? 
we will release energy. Sir, how much energy released? You can understand that sir, one OH bond formed here, one OH bond formed here. That means one O was there, one H was there. They came together. One OH was formed, then another H came together. So what will happen? This both energies got released, and for released energy, I put a negative sign there happily. By a negative sign of the bond enthalpy of OH. But how many? Sir, there are two OH bond forms, so double energy released. बहुत बढ़िया. This will be the enthalpy of this reaction. And भैया, this is how you can get the answer. Any problem in this question? देख लो भाई. H H bond broken. बहुत बढ़िया. Energy required. H H. ठीक है. O bond broken. Energy required for breaking the bond. बढ़िया हो गई बात. Divided by two. O H bond formed. O H bond formed. So energy released. How much? Two O H bonds of B bond enthalpy of O H into two, and this is the enthalpy of the reaction. बढ़िया हो गया बात. Any problem up to here? And this is how the simple simple questions can be done. But this is totally wrong. Why, sir? What is the problem up to? Yeah, just now you taught, and within the next question you are telling it is wrong. Nahi ya. What I taught and what you got. Has a little small difference here. Remember when you were in class seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, your teachers used to say, "Ki mug up the definition word by word," and you used to think, "Ki yar, we are expert, they are stupid." That's why they are asking this thing. They were not stupid. They were the smartest people who came across your life, and they told you a very important lesson that don't mess up with the definitions in science because it will change the whole meaning. What does it mean? At 25 degrees Celsius, water is a liquid. H2 is a gas, O2 is a gas, and as per the definition, bond enthalpy is the average energy required for homoleptic fission of one mole of given bond of a gaseous molecule into gaseous species in ground state. That means this logic, this logic works only when Product and reactant all all are gaseous, sir. That means if any one of them is liquid, any one of them is solid, this will not work. Nahi, no, it cannot work. Sir, ye to problem hai, sir. If it will not work, then what to do? Boy, don't worry, I'm here. I'll tell you what to do. Number one, if reactant is solid or liquid. If the reactant is solid or liquid, then what? Then plus enthalpy of sublimation or plus enthalpy of if it is liquid, then vaporization. That means if the reactant is solid or liquid, you have to convert him into gas in your brain. In your brain, you have to give the energy and imagine that अच्छा solid has to become gas. That means you have to give energy. If to heat the solid, where in reality, nahi, just on the papers you have to heat. Hypothetically, you have to heat. Ah, huh? don't start heating the paper and burn your notebook. Nahi. So enthalpy of sublimation. If the reactant is solid, the reactant is solid or liquid. If the reactant is solid, add the enthalpy of sublimation. If the reactant is liquid, add the enthalpy of vaporization for this bond enthalpy question. ठीक है भाई सर एड वेयर रिएक्टेंट प्रोडक्ट अरे नो वेयर देर इज नो रिएक्टेंट प्रोडक्ट इन दिस मेथड जस्ट एड इट इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली एडजस्ट नंबर टू इफ प्रोडक्ट इज सॉलिड और लिक्विड देन सब्ट्रैक्ट एंथेल्पी ऑफ सब्लिमेशन इफ इट इज सॉलिड और सब्ट्रैक्ट एंथेल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन इफ इट इज लिक्विड ठीक है भाई सो इफ द प्रोडक्ट इज सॉलिड Subtract minus enthalpy of sublimation. If it is liquid, then minus enthalpy of vaporization. What does it mean? So if the enthalpy of uh, sublimation vaporization given as negative, it will not be given as negative. Even if it is given as negative, don't worry. You have to put here the negative value only. For example, I give you minus three hundred. So that minus should come when the product is solid or liquid, and this should become plus. This should become. Plus when the reactant is solid or liquid. For example, here I can tell you that whatever they give you enthalpy of vaporization is x or y, whatever. So enthalpy of vaporization given as x. 
वट इज वेपराइजेशन तो देखो यार एंथल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन मीन्स लिक्विड टू गैस वेपर्स ठीक है भाई सर वट इज फ्यूजन फ्यूजन हैज नो मीनिंग इन दिस क्वेश्चन बट फ्यूजन मीन्स सॉलिड टू लिक्विड वी कैन से तो सॉलिड टू लिक्विड कन्वर्जन वी से फ्यूजन एंड लिक्विड टू गैस वी से वेपराइजेशन सिमिलरली सब्लीमेशन सब्लीमेशन मीन्स सॉलिड टू गैस डायरेक्टली सो ऑब्वियसली दिस हैज नो रोल इन दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ऑल वी आर वरीड अबाउट इज दैट इफ द रिएक्टेंट एंड प्रोडक्ट आर गैशियस हैप्पीली वी आर गोइंग इन द क्वेश्चन इफ द रिएक्टेंट और प्रोडक्ट दे कम एज लिक्विड और सॉलिड देन वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दम इन टू गैस हाइपोथेटिकली इन आर इमेजिनेशन देन ओनली द करेक्ट एनर्जी विल कम एंड फॉर दैट वट वी डू फॉर दैट इफ द रिएक्टेंट इज सॉलिड और लिक्विड एड द वैल्यू इफ द प्रोडक्ट इज सॉलिड और लिक्विड सब्ट्रैक्ट द वैल्यू एंड भैया ओनली द मैग्नीट्यूड यू विल एड एंड मैग्नीट्यूड यू विल सब्ट्रैक्ट वट एवर द मैग्नीट्यूड दे विल गिव इग्नोर द प्लस माइनस साइन गिवन प्लस माइनस साइन यू विल पुट If it is reactant, plus sign should come. If it is product, product is solid or liquid, then minus sign should come. Let's do this question and get over with this concept beautifully. So here, one thing is sure: the enthalpy of reaction up to here it is clear. The bond enthalpy of H H bigger is plus bond enthalpy of O double bond O by two. This is correct. Minus two times bond enthalpy of O H. This is also correct because energy required to break the bond released in bond formation. Only one twist is here. कि वी आर गेटिंग अ लिक्विड हेयर एंड द रूल इज वेरी सिंपल इफ द प्रोडक्ट इज सॉलिड और लिक्विड देन माइनस साइन शुड कम सर देन विद होम इफ द प्रोडक्ट इज लिक्विड देन माइनस टाइम्स ऑफ एंथल्पी ऑफ्राइजेशन दैट मीन्स दिस सो दिस एनर्जी विल बी रिलीज एंड दिस विल बी योर ओवरऑल एंथल्पी ऑफ द रिएक्शन सो दिस माइनस एक्स मीन्स माइनस एंथल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन फॉर वॉटर विल बी coming there and why a minus sign is coming sir because the energy will be released sir maza nahi aaya matlab feel did not i did not get the feel feel i will give you so what we did h2 plus half o2 when i gave bond enthalpy when i gave bond enthalpy by 2 i got h plus h plus o plus o uh -huh. h plus h plus o why single o because half o2 है ना हाफ ओ टू सो वन ऑक्सीजन आइटम देन वट हैपन ऑल दीज वर गैस देन दे कंबाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म एच टू ओ इन द गैशियस स्टेट एंड दिस वॉज दिस वॉज द एनर्जी रिलीज सो बॉन्ड एंथल्पी ऑफ ओ एच विद अ नेगेटिव साइन इन टू टू सो बेसिकली दिस प्लस दिस माइनस दिस यू एव रिटर्न हेयर बट देन दिस गैस हैज टू बी कन्वर्टेड टू लिक्विड ऑल्सो एंड हेयर एंथल्पी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन विल कम एंड हेयर आर नेगेटिव साइन विल कम This is only for those people who have a itching problem. That means they are happily getting the answer, but they have the itching. Ki nahi sir, explain more sir. Feel is not coming. So, bhaiya, this is your feel. So, what is the happening? If you want to convert gas plus gas into liquid, so firstly convert gas plus gas into gas because that is what the definition of bond enthalpy can give up to here. Bond enthalpy can give. You further has to condense it to liquid. Then enthalpy of vaporization will be released. If this is a headache to you, I know it will be the headache for most of you. Do not worry. This is there, na yar. So if the product is solid or liquid, negative sign with enthalpy vaporization or sublimation will come. If it is solid, then sublimation will be of a negative sign. So, boy, yar, this is about the toppers material. That's why in the top I have changed the heading. This was the toppers material for the same topic, and previous was the simple average and above average material for the same examination. So again, toppers material is only useful when your previous concept is very clear. Previous year question bank is exhausted. You are totally through, and you are just trying to boost your rank from top ten thousand or five thousand AIR to top hundred AIR. Then this kind of detailings will be useful for you. So, boy, you understood the emphasis of the. definitions in science so remember for this chapter for thermochemistry recall and remember all the definitions in detail that is all from my side for this part thank you so much